Hello and welcome to Tutorial CU. My name is Yannick and I'm absolutely sure that you already have heard about ChatGPT. So in this video, I don't want to bore you too much on what ChatGPT is, why it's cool and all of that. Well, to make it very short for all of those who have never heard of it, it is an AI, it generates code for you and it gives you answer to nearly all of your questions that you have. So in this video, I want to see it from a more, well, real world side on how you could use it potentially why I am not really using it right now, where the limitations are and, well, where the benefits are of it. So the first thing that I really want to point out is that any research that you want to make is definitely worth a try to just write it down. Let's say you don't have a clue what a JWT token is, right? It's used for authentication. So let me just paste that here. Let's see and I'll get an answer. So this is something from that machine learning algorithm that ChatGPT well collected over the last, I don't know, decade, month, years. I have no clue. Maybe it's 30, 50 years. I don't know how many websites they may have crawled and all of that to get the information, right? But now I got it, I got an answer. So this is something usually when I type JWT token to Google, I'll get a better answer from a better blog post. So why is this right now not really handy or how can we make it handy? Well, we can make it handy if we specify it a little bit more because your usual use case would not be like, hey, tell me what a JWT token is. No, you want to know it for something. So how could I use JWT? in an ASP.NET Core 7 application. So this is something which is quite more specific where Google, on the other hand, would now start, they would start, right? They would start lacking information because it's kind of specific and you can see that he's, well, taking a little bit more time to get the response done now. So let's see, he's giving me more information. Here's a NuGet package, right? JWT bearer um, and all of that. Well, let's see just what he's answering. I will just pause the video for a second. Great. And so here we got the entire response that I get. So he's suggesting me to install the package. Then in the startup CS, I should, well, register the authentication service and all of that. And if you are familiar with ASP.NET, then you already know that we don't have a startup CS anymore, right? So just keep that in mind, okay? So we have some code here. Then it says like in the configure in startup CS, use authentication. We may use the authorized attribute to really make sure that someone is authenticated and all of that. So right now I got a pretty good understanding of how I should, uh, uh, well, or how I could set up a JWT authentication. But this is not a copy paste solution. So definitely not. If we would copy that over and paste it, we would have a lot of errors because most of the stuff is outdated, unfortunately. So as I said, startup.cs is definitely something that is existing anymore. So we would have to get a little bit more specific on, well, that we want to have that for the latest ASP version, all of that. And I was not able to make it working only by chat GPT. So I was not able to get the final working code by it. So my first thought on that, that I want to share is that ChatGPT gives you a nice introduction and how you can solve it, but it's not a copy paste code, not for so specific things. Well, you can for sure say like, Hey, ChatGPT, give me a bubble sold algorithm or sold that list for me or whatever. For sure. That's, that's just copy paste, but that's also just plain .NET, right? So it's really plain code operations or those are clean code operations and basic algorithms that are definitely easy to generate. And in a real world scenario, you're mostly not looking for that. You're looking for things for big questions like, okay, how could I structure that? How could I, well, resolve a dependency? How could I fix a specific bug and all of that? So something that's a little bit more complicated, right? In a real world scenario, things are not that simple. Like this is my main concern on ChatGPT in general. Now, the good thing is, however, that it does not stop here. So I got that answer. He says like, do this and that, and I can follow up and I can say, okay, please uh, show me. You don't have to write, please, but <laughs> I'm doing that. So please show me the code um, for JWT validation in C sharp. So this is like an extension to my prior question and he will answer based on that as good as he can. So let's see, he's just showing me the code. Now, let me just pause the video. And here we got our response. And again, you get a nice idea on how you could build it. You could create a static bool method, call it validate token. You will send in, send in the JWT token here, right? And then you create a symmetric security key. You get the bytes from your secret key and all of that. And well, 
as I said, token validation parameters, as you can see that here, it again gives you an amazing idea of how you can do that, right? But again, if you copy that over and paste it, it will not be working. And this is like for most of the scenarios which are a little bit more advanced because ChatGPT often don't really understand in detail what exactly you want. And this is maybe because of ChatGPT or maybe because of you not explaining the correct things or asking the correct things or giving him enough information, right? Okay, so now let's let's take a break here. So first of all, subscribe to our channel so that you no longer miss any upcoming .NET related videos. And I'm absolutely interested in what you are thinking about ChatGPT, so please write it down into the comments below. And if you want to become a full stack c -sharp web developer, please check out our C-Shop Progress Academy where you will learn ASP.NET, Angular, unit testing and software design patterns. So this is definitely the fastest way for you to progress as a C-Shop developer. Check out the link in the description below or popping up right now at the top right corner. Now let me just throw in my final feedback because I don't want to make this video too long. You already got the idea of how ChatGPT is working. So is it useful? Yes, it is. Would I use it in a real production? Well, it depends. It depends on the question that I have. Like if I would start a new program, I would go ahead and ask something like that. How could I build a product management software in ASP.NET Core, right? So before I start anything, I maybe have my own opinion and then I maybe add or ask ChatGPT, right? I add that opinion of ChatGPT and see what is the actual outcome. So he is suggesting me an MVC, um, an MVC application. Maybe that's not exactly what I want, but now I know, okay, there is MVC. Do I want to have MVC or do I want to build it with React and RESTful API or whatever, right? So you could specify on that a little bit more. So my tip for you is to use ChatGPT whenever you can, when you want to get new information, right? Here's my main concern. ChatGPT, from my side of view, will not replace developers. It will make developers more productive. It will make them better. And yes, it will replace some developer job openings because one developer can just handle more code. Well, maybe, and that's the big point, maybe. Why maybe? Simply because as long as ChatGPT does not understand the entire scope of your project, the help that it can offer you when you're a senior developer is absolutely limited from my side of view. So as long as I am not able to upload my entire .NET project here, and ChatGPT understands my dependencies, my domain and business logic, so my overall source code and the use case, I do not think that the AI will ever reach that level of productivity that a senior developer offers on the other hand. So this is what I'm thinking right now as of the experience that I have with the AI, right? So things may definitely change in future. Maybe next year we are able to upload our projects here and then, well, we can see, okay, yeah, ChatGPT, definitely understand my project, the entire scope, right? And I can simply press on a button and get the entire working code for a new functionality for my application. But I personally don't see that yet. And I don't think that the AI will replace software developers, but it will make a single developer more productive. And in the end, and that's the great thing about it, it will help everyone get more and better knowledge in an easier way. And that's amazing because from my side of view, knowledge is the only thing that matters. Great. So thanks for watching. See you next time in the next video. If you want to see more on ChatGPT, write it down into the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and check out our C-Shop Progress Academy to become a C-Shop full stack web developer.